27th of January 2024. Hello everybody, welcome back to Leningrad. Yes, today St. Petersburg is Leningrad. 27th of January, the day of the end of the siege of Leningrad. Albina Baklikova, my name is Sergei Baklikov, and this is Baklikov Live on the day of the 80th anniversary of a total liberation of besieged Leningrad. Today we are in Leningrad and we are beginning our live stream from Anichkov Bridge, the bridge above Pantanka River. This is one of the reminders about the days of the siege of Leningrad. One of 140 7,000 of artillery shells. It's less than an hour until the fireworks. The fireworks in Leningrad, dedicated to the 80th anniversary of the day of the end of the siege of Leningrad. The siege of Leningrad, which started on the 8th of September 1941 and finished only 872 days and nights after on the 27th 27th of January 1944 so today in 2024 we commemorate the 80th anniversary 80th anniversary earlier today I was taking you to Piskarevsk memorial uh, cemetery where are buried almost a half of million of the heroes of Leningrad, civilians and the soldiers. Eight, 872 days but pretty often rounded up until 900, 900 days and nights. Look. 1941-1944, Leningrad, Gorod Geroy, Leningrad, the city hero, 900, 900 days and nights, 662,000 of uh, civilians here in Leningrad died of hunger, 
they were starved to death. Almost 17,000 civilians died as the result of air bombings and artillery strikes. 333,000 of the Soviet soldiers died. 111,000 missed. And uh, we actually can consider them as died too. Because, come on, missed, that actually means died in most of cases. And this is how only here in Leningrad we've lost over one million of the Soviet people. One million out of 27 million people, Soviet people, for four years of World War II. Yuha Alvinian, very important to remember this. Yes, thank you so much. Hello to you and thank you so much. Hello, Jan Nordbo, Stacy O'Shields, Tracy Loria, live twice for you. Marcel Bizarro, Silvana Hori, everybody, everybody. It's only about 50 minutes until a uh, huge fireworks dedicated to 80th 80, anniversary. Today here is even Putin in town. You know, when I was taking, to, taking you to cemetery, Putin was there two years earlier. So I came like two hours after Vladimir Putin was there. Hello, Karin Murray. Meanwhile, it's also the Saturday night. This is what the heroes of Leningrad were fighting for. A great future for their descendants. You know, it's uh, thankful to the heroes of Leningrad. Here in Leningrad now, we do have... We have now this peaceful city, peaceful walks, People all around just enjoying their weekends. It's it's Saturday, Saturday night. Hello to Catherine the Great, our great Empress Catherine. Hello, Sueso. Hello, Sergey Boltenko, Dirk Bendheim. Hi, everybody. Enjoy the time. Yes, Nevsky, St. Petersburg, Leningrad. That's what you love. Earlier this week, I was taking you to the town of Buxitagorsk, Tikalova, Sevolovsk. That's what only 0.3% of uh, my subs are enjoying. There's Mobutik's camera. Mobutik's, Mobutik's camera. 24-7 camera 24-7 camera Mo boutique I'm gonna wave I'm gonna wave to Mo boutiques Hey hey Mo boutiques Mo boutiques Okay, hello, Mari Strauss, Stacy O'Shields. This is already an underpass. By the way, right now, in this moment, there in the Grand Hall of uh, St. Petersburg Philharmonic goes the concert, the Seventh Symphony of Dmitry Shostakovich. Yes, yes. You know, I wanted to go there, but it seems like they were not even selling the tickets there because I was hunting for those tickets and uh, on the website of Philharmonic, they're like, was the, the sales are not started yet, but then it's like, it's sold out. 
okay so i think that mostly they are distributed the tickets around the um, uh, people who lived here in the years of uh, the siege of leningrad yes still imagine that historically it wasn't that long ago only 80 years i mean even uh, many people who are lived during the siege of leningrad still alive as, uh, especially the kids for example those who were like five years maybe ten years seven years those were who those who were like five years seven years they are 85 87 now Gassine Dvor this is our oldest mall built in 1785 the construction started even earlier in 1765 hello leon brown i say hello to everybody thank you for coming here thank you so much Thank you for sharing the solidarity with the people of Leningrad. As you can see, the whole city decorated with the signs dedicated to the 80th anniversary of the siege of Leningrad. Many people, I think, today will be on the embankments of Neva River to watch the fireworks. Maybe it will cause uh, the problems with the connection, but you know, when you're streaming with Freeze Live Studio application, uh, then there is always the backup copy getting recorded. And if it will happen so that I will lose the connection there, then I just will upload, re-upload this live stream from backup file, which is never depends on the quality of the internet. This is a really great function for uh, the Prism Live Studio. Okay, 8.15, one chime. The Grand Hotel Europe and look look this is the Grand Hall of St. Petersburg Philharmonic named after Dmitry Shostakovich here now here now goes the concerts the seventh symphony the seventh symphony yeah now exactly there sounds I guess the main theme considering it has started at eight o'clock now if it's a part one like about 11 12 minutes that's like the most dramatic moment in the symphony wow whoa gosh gosh <laughs> Hello, Randy Rains. Nine hundred days. Город Герой Ленинград, the city hero, Leningrad. Tracy Lori, hello, hello, Barry Brin, hello, Novi Zivot. Gosh. Gosh. Base 
Basilica of St. Catherine. Hello, Podolsky Ladia. Ladies and gentlemen, continue joining. It's uh, about 43 minutes, 42 minutes until the beginning of the fireworks. Yes, incredible Leningrad, Silvana. О, хай, поздравляю с праздником, с праздником Дня Полного Освобождения. Да, да. Как говорится, хотел пойти на салон, значит, тебя буду смотреть. Ясно, ну ладно. Ладно, с праздником, мэн, с праздником. I congratulated this executioner. Well, this guy is staying all the time here, he is a promoter of the Museum of Human Tortures. Another, another artwork dedicated to the siege of Leningrad, 900 days and nights in the broken circle. The circle symbolizes the broken circle, literally circle around St. Petersburg, which was keeping the city in a siege. Tracy Smith, how? Hello from Metro Detroit. The House of Zinger. This is nothing but Kazansky Cathedral, our main Orthodox Church. Hello, Francis Fount. Gosh, gosh, people just started a mass jaywalk. <laughs> okay, let's go. Brock Freden, thank you for the super chats and hello. The embankments of Grybayedov, Grybayedov Canal. Church of the Savior on spilled blood. Hello, Roberta Stella. Inna Kurbatova. Прекрасно. Великолепнейший Петербург. Великолепнейший Ленинград. Сегодня это Ленинград. Сегодня это Ленинград. Today this is Leningrad. День полного освобождения Ленинграда. День полного освобождения от фашистской блокады. Hello, Mark P. Hello, Billy Bryant. Hello, Monkey Main, Main Productions. Gosh. Kazansky Cathedral. So many people are now going in direction of Neva River. Where will be the salute? 
uh, that's what may cause the problem with the connection but if it will happen so then I will just re-upload the live stream later just from the backup file this is a really great function that Prism Live Studio has starts coffee Hello, James Loduka. <laughs> Male Kanyushine. Small horse stable street. <laughs> hello, Van S. Yes, hello again. Everybody continue joining. Less than 40 minutes until the fireworks and also the shots. There will be the shots. 80 years. Today, even Putin is in town. Hello, Vladimir Akhraimiev. Hello again. Special hello to Vladimir Akhraimiev, whose ancestors lived here. His uh, aunts and uncle, Anna Maria Vasily. Unfortunately, they never went through the siege of Leningrad, but they were standing. His mom, Olga, the sister of Maria and Anna, survived. The guys are having fun. Hello, KNN, 80-20. Hi to Ohio. I remember my trip to Ohio. I was in Richfield and Cleveland. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and USS Cod submarine. <laughs> Mog, the House of Mertens. There also goes 3D mapping show now on the facade of the general headquarters on Palace Square. Great weather, only minus two degrees Celsius. And this is also helps, you know, Saturday, relatively warm weather and it's such a big day that's why so many people where are the people <laughs> yeah where are the people where are the people trying to be a big meme ma'am on my channel it's like every time i turn to the side street where like never much people people asking where are the people Don, hello Don, and thank you for the super chat. Hello Zbyszek, hi to Poland. Yelena Kapianka, hi. Stroganov Palace Count Stroganov This is unregulated crosswalk. I think it's really now pain in ass to turn <laughs> because unstoppable flow of people going and going. That's already a Moika River.
you see there are the projector lights also in remembrance of the day of a total liberation of BC St. Petersburg BC Leningrad <laughs> Iris Dunderfeld, hello. Welcome back to Leningrad. Today, everybody, at least virtually, have to be in Leningrad. The sign of victory. Ellie, hello and thank you so much. <laughs> the historic speakers. Continue walking Nevsky. The path to Palace Square from the arch is now closed because now there on the facade of the general headquarters goes the 3D mapping show dedicated to the end of the siege of Leningrad. It's called the show called Leningrad for the sake of life. I see the traffic is closed for the cars starting from uh, the corner of Nevsky and Male Marskaya. Citizens, in case of shelling, this side of the street is the most dangerous. Six hundred people online today joining Leningrad. Continue joining Leningrad. Leningrad online. Hello, Michelle Anderson. The house of Wawelberg. Meanwhile, it's less than thirty minutes until the fireworks ends. I already experience the troubles with the connection gosh already got the first message for a few seconds that connection is unstable okay the traffic is closed for cars which is absolutely, absolutely right. The 
because so many people are going. The very beginning of Nevsky Prospect. Here next to Admiralty. Nowadays, a headquarters of Russian Baltic fleet. Vince, boss, as always, thanks for sharing these events with us. You're welcome. It's a big honor for me to share it. No wonder so many people, because the siege of Leningrad touched absolutely every Leningrad family, indigenous Leningrad family. The Palace Square the Winter Palace, Alexander Colon, in the General Headquarters building. Thank you for teaching us Russian history. God bless you. You're welcome. It's good that they will have it tomorrow too. So tomorrow I will be able to come back here and film that 3D mapping show. I can hear the music from the 7th Symphony of Shostakovich that was used in that movie.
People keep going and going. Okay, so uh, those who are asking if I will entering, let me tell you no, because I will go tomorrow. I will go there tomorrow, but if I will go now to watch that multimedia movie, 3D mapping show, then uh, we will not be, we will miss, we will miss this, the salute, okay? Let it be like a teaser. Let it be like a teaser. Yeah, second, so I see. Let it be like a teaser. We have like maybe five, seven minutes. But yet tomorrow I will come here. Завтра я приду сюда специально для того, чтобы снять полностью 3D map 3D mapping show. Завтра тоже буду показывать.
отрачивается в момент. Под гармошкой, под бомбежкой, под красивым болтанью и сушается, разрушается, сокрушается на корню. Чувство собственного достоинства.
тобой под свист снарядов. Угрюмым заревом озарена, Я говорю с тобой из Ленинграда. Страна моя, печальная страна. Большой симфонический оркестр радиокомитета действительно был большим. Более сотни человек. К весне 42-го их осталось 18. Но по радио объявили всем оставшимся музыкантам явиться с инструментами. Так готовились к главной плакатной премьере 7-й Ленинградской симфонии Шестаковича. 9 августа дирижер Карл Элиасбер вышел к оркестру. Полный зал встал, а все, кто не сумел попасть сюда, замерли у репродукторов. А вокруг осадного кольца бушевала легендарная операция «Шторм». Два часа и 20 минут артиллерия Ленинградского фронта и Балтийского флота работала вся и без передышки. Два часа и 20 минут ни один вражеский снаряд, ни один вражеский самолет не мог даже приблизиться к осажденному городу. На каждой площади, на каждой улице, вместо сирен и воздушных тревог, на всю воюющую страну, на всю охваченную пожаром планету звучала великая музыка. Они действительно думали, что город мертв. И не сегодня, так завтра они войдут в пустой Ленинград. Они действительно поняли, что эту войну, этому народу они проиграют. потери ленинградцев составили более миллиона человек. We are now going to begin the fireworks salute. Завтра я снова вернусь сюда. Мы снова посмотрим уже полностью. Это 3D mapping show. А сейчас 
Идем смотреть салют. Денис Кэмпбелл и Джуди Баттерфилд, thank you. But in fact, it turns to be that we watched almost all, um, almost all movie, and uh, traditionally, of course, today there are the torches on the top of Rosal columns. Not many days, not many days when they have the fire on the top of Rosal columns. But of course, this is one of the most significant days for Leningrad, and that's when, where, when they fire up the torch. As I told you, now possible the problem with the connection because so many people now will start filming. If it will happen, then I will re-upload this live stream just uh, a little bit later uh, as a video. Отсюда есть выход, нет? Надеюсь, додумались уж сделать. of people thousands and thousands of people now came Three minutes to go. I don't know what this is. I don't know Мандарины были с пулей. Да, они с одним такой, как 
Вот здесь вот. А у меня я не умею пробежать. Колонна, видать? Да,
to the heroes of Leningrad. Those who went through the siege of Leningrad and those who are not, they all are the heroes because they were standing or until the death or until the victory. Hello, boy. Six hundred sixty two thousand civilians died during the siege of Leningrad Seven, because of a hunger. Almost seventeen thousand people died during the air bombings and uh artillery strikes almost 333,000 of the Soviet soldiers died defending Leningrad 111,000 missed in fact also died that's how only St. Petersburg 
Back then, Leningrad lost over 1 million people. 1 million of, out of 27 million. Gregory Duff felt deeply grateful for the horrendous sacrifices by the people of the Soviet Union in defeating fascism. Respectfully, Greg and Catherine from Canada. Thank you so much. Greg, Catherine from Leningrad, Russia. Metri, Leningrado at Stalingrado, Leningrado от Сталинграда. Спасибо. Я, кстати, вот походу вот здесь вот что-то такое стоит, а вот там не было. Да, нет, сейчас наладим. Но нет, сейчас наоборот только хуже стало. А там не было, да? Да.
Альвиночка с этой стороны. The city hero of Leningrad. Lana S, you're welcome. Everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing this very significant moment. In fact, the day of the end of the siege of Leningrad, it's very important. It was very important not only for the Soviet Union, but the whole world. It was one of the pieces of a big puzzle that led to the victory of the Soviet Union. The victory of the fascism. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, dudes, dudettes, thank you for watching. My congratulations. This is an important day, not only for Leningrad, not only for the Soviet Union, it was an important day for the whole world. My name is Sergei Baklikov. This is Albina Baklikova, Baklikova, Baklikov live from Leningrad. Yes, 27th of January is the day when St. Petersburg turns to Leningrad. Jan Norbo, thank you, Sergey and Albina, and thank you to the wonderful, to the wonderful people on the chats. Thanks, thanks so much. Thank you, everybody. See you.